Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This time for a quick tutorial about the types of structure and bonding we see in the different allotropes of carbon. So we're going to kick things off here with graphite. Graphite is one of the most common allotropes of carbon that we also encounter at GCSE. Here we have carbon atoms connected together by covalent bonds in hexagonal layers. And the layers are connected together by London forces. The London forces, however, are quite weak. And so that's why the layers of graphite can slide over each other, making graphite a good choice of industrial lubricant. Within the hexagonal layers, each carbon atom is surrounded by three bond pairs of electrons, and this creates a trigonal planar shape around each carbon atom, and a bond angle of 120 degrees. On a final note about graphite, if you were to look up carbon on the periodic table, you would see that it's in group 4. This means it has four electrons in its outer shell. Three of them have described as being involved in covalent bonds. But where's the fourth electron? Well, the fourth electron becomes delocalized between the layers, which means that graphite is a good conductor of electricity along the layers because of these delocalized electrons. Our other relatively famous allotrope of carbon is diamond. Here, once again, we have carbon atoms. It's just this time they are completely held in covalent bonds with the electrons localized in the space between atoms. So we have no delocalized electrons here, and we certainly don't have any London forces. Each carbon atom is tetrahedral in shape since it's surrounded by four bond pairs of electrons and this creates a bond angle of 109.5 degrees. Our third carbon allotrope is graphene, and the science surrounding graphene is constantly evolving. Here we're going to look at some of the basics you need to be aware of for A-level chemistry. So we have our carbon atoms once again, and as you can see, they are once again in a hexagonal layer, which is very similar to graphite, except we have no multiple layers, and we don't consider any London forces present in the structure. What we do have, however, are carbon atoms in continuous covalent bonds, and each carbon atom is surrounded still by three bond pairs, creating a trigonal planar shape and a bond angle of 120 degrees. We also still have our delocalized electrons, meaning that graphene can conduct electricity in two dimensions. A final point about graphene is that it is one atom thick and therefore considered a two-dimensional material. If you would like to know more about graphene, I'm going to put some links in the video description and on screen at the end of this tutorial. That's all for now. Don't forget that there's always lots of information in the video description. And until next time, happy revising.